If you're still stuck on how to pick the right red lipstick because there's so many different variations, I'm going to show you some top tips that help me and that will help you. First, as you can see, I'm holding up four different variations of a red lipstick and they have been used, so don't judge. <laughs> But if you look carefully, you can see that they all are different undertones. And sometimes that can be very, very tricky in deciding which one would suit you the best. Now, the first and probably a bit more complicated way to do it for most people is to know what your undertone is. Now, what do we mean by undertone? Well, undertones usually fall into three different categories, but I kind of feel like a lot of the time the lines do blur. So, for example, you can be a cool undertone person or you could be a warm or you could be neutral, which means different colours suit your skin tone. And if that still sounds complicated, here's a chart of warm, cool and neutral undertones. So take a quick screenshot and see where you sit. Now, realistically, it's very hard to do that every time you go and buy a new lipstick. But the one thing I like to do, which has helped me a lot of the times, is to get the colour that I do prefer, try it on very lightly, just to see how it looks like in a minimal look, and then go in with a full, full coverage of the colour, just to see the fullness of the intensity. Then I look at myself in lighting like this, which is like, you know, studio type, artificial lighting and then i go into daylight just to see how it looks like and how comfortable i feel i'm going to try that with both my lipsticks here i have a zara red lipstick and a bare minerals red lipstick i'm going to try them both in this lighting and also natural lighting sheer and full coverage you can see that they complement my undertone and are flattering when warm both ways such an easy way to find your best red lipstick i hope that helps and i'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>